All right, today is one of my favorite makeup days of the entire year. The Sydney Grace Mystery Bag Unboxing. I am so excited to get to share with you what I have in my mystery bags this year. I did purchase all of these, by the way, so I'm gonna go through and give you all spoilers for anyone who is hoping to pick one of these up, or maybe you're just curious what was in these this year. I am really excited to share with you. Today is actually the last day of the Sydney Grace Christmas in July sale, so my hopes are that I can drink a lot of coffee and get this edited and up tonight for anyone who maybe wanted to add one to their cart while they're doing their single shadow shopping because today is 40% off all eyeshadow singles. So we're gonna dive in, but if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, I am so excited to get into this. You may notice that I'm wearing next to no makeup and that's because I do plan to apply a few of the things in these bags, specifically, most likely the cream bag, the one that has all the cream products in it. If you know me, you know I love a good cream product. I do already know that I really enjoy the Sydney Grace Cream Blush formula because they did send over a couple of those to me uh, when they were in the one monthly bundle. I can't remember which month that was, but I did get to try those. And I was like, yes, if everything else is like this formula, count me in. So let's run through the bags that I decided to purchase this year. I will also have these hopefully in chapters down below. So if you're just here to see a specific bag, you can run to that one. Or if you just wanna see all of the goodies that I got, please feel free to watch in entirety. So right on the top here, I did get the purple dark bag. And then if I'm guessing this right, this is the light cream products bag. I also have the light latte bag. And then this one is new this year. This is the big bag, the big bag, the mega bag, the when you want it all bag. <laughs> so the big bag is $85 and you get a value of $175 worth of products. And then all of these other bags are $30 with a value of $60 worth of product. Now on the mystery bag day of the sale, you were able to get one free uh, $30 mystery bag with the purchase of $60 or more. So they also had a miscellaneous shadows bag. So that was only eyeshadow. So if all you wanted were single shadows, that one was $70 with approximately $140 worth of eyeshadows. Also a great deal, but I just, I just wanted a little bit of everything. So like I said, we're gonna go through everything. I think what I'm gonna do first, because I do wanna get into the creams, is I'm gonna open that bag first. So of course, I'm gonna share with you everything that's in these bags. I haven't peeked yet. I haven't peeked yet. I'm really excited, can you tell? And I will be using some of these on my face so we can get a little face and makeup going. And anything that I don't apply, I will give you swatches of. So let's get into this. We've got a lot to unbox. I'm ready to get into this. I hope you enjoy. Okay, I should mention also before I go into this that Sydney Grace says that you know, nothing in these bags is guaranteed. This is a totally like random pick. While you are more than likely to get a few of these products in each of your bags, you know, sometimes every bag won't be exactly the same. So just because you see something in my bag, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in one if you purchase it. So just keep that in mind. And in looking at the website right now, I did wanna let you know that the big bag is out of stock. As far as the smaller bags, we have the cream bag in the deep, shades and then we also have the purple bag in the light and the deep available. So after I unbox, unbag this creams bag, what I will do is then go into the purple bag that I have because that one is available and while you can get the deep version of the creams but you can't get the light, maybe this would give you an idea of what would be in it and then I will continue with the other bags. I do also have some other items that I picked up singly and I'll just throw those in at the end. Uh, I have two more orders on their way to me from Sydney Grace so I'm sure I'll share that haul at some point and yeah, I'm excited to get into this so let's do it right now. Okay, so the bag, first of all, can we just talk about this bag? It is super cute. This is probably my favorite version of the Sydney Grace bags that I've gotten. By the way, this is like my third or fourth year of doing the mystery bags, certainly my third year of filming. So I'm really excited to dive into this. If you love this bag and you wanna add one to your order at some point, they are still available. It looks like they only have the cream one, uh, but it is $7, which I think is a good deal. Okay, I just about spoiled it for myself. <laughs> So I probably will have already noted this, but the light gray is the cream product bag. Good thing I was reading on the uh, <laughs> their Instagram page. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, okay, I'm really excited. I think that I thought that all of the products in the cream bag 
were going to be creams, but it doesn't look like they are, which is fine. That's totally fine. I definitely have a good amount of creams in here. I mean, how many creams do I need? Less, less than what I've purchased here. So I'm so excited. <gasps> okay, I'm really, I'm already really excited because uh, I see a blush shade in here that I was tempted to get. I was almost bought it in the single, like just on its own, uh, and I didn't. And I'm glad that I didn't because it's right here in the bag. Okay. All right, in all the excitement, I forgot to zoom you in. So I'm so, 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 so excited. Okay, so we might as well start with the product that I was just saying that I'm really excited to have. This is one of the cream blushes and this is the shade Strawberry Cheesecake. This is this beautiful, like warm mauve shade. Very pretty. I will give you arm swatches at the very end of everything. Obviously we're gonna try some of these on my face as well. So then we have a bronzer. I'm so excited to try this bronzer. I hope it is going to be in a shade that I can enjoy. This is the shade Bonbon. This is looking quite, quite warm and pretty deep, but we can probably make it work. We'll have to see. It is pretty warm. And I, by the way, uh, in case you can't tell, I am neutral, leaning into warm, so that should work for like a nice toasty bronzer. We will have to see. And then I have a highlighter in the shade Sugar Cookie. And by the way, I think that the brand was hoping to be able to have the bronzers to be able to purchase like separately during the sale. And it sounded like either they weren't set up and ready to go in time or they just didn't have enough. So the only way you were gonna get the bronzers in the sale is in a bag. So I'm excited to be able to try one out. I will definitely, if, if the color isn't right, I'll at least know if I prefer the formula or not. So then we have the Highlight Sugar Cookie. This is a really light, icy pink. Uh, the nice thing about that is I don't really have anything in a cream especially that is along these lines. So I'm excited to get to try those. I also see what I think is going to be a cream shadow. Is it a cream shadow? Oh, yes, it's a cream shadow. And it's a new shade and it looks amazing. This is the shade Divinity. I'm not even gonna bother to try to show you the little slot there. Oh, that looks really pretty. If I had to guess, it looks like a cool, taupey, rose goldy, right up my alley kind of thing. And then I do have four powder products. So let me see, I've got to get out some palettes. Oh my gosh, unprepared. All right. Okay, so let's get into these shadows. Uh, they're very, very beautiful shades. I'm really excited to have these four shades. Now I will say that I believe that in the mystery bags, at least in every mystery bag that I've had in the past, the shades have all been exclusives for the mystery bag. Now, sometimes they will have those available afterwards for purchase, but it's like new shades, and it does say that these are all new products. So here we have our four shades. So, so pretty. Like definitely on the side of, I would say, like a neutral leaning, just slightly warm. They're very, very pretty. So I'm gonna swatch all of these out so that you can see, and then we will do a quick little application and move on to the other bags. As I'm sitting here swatching, I do wanna let you know that if I get other cream products, uh, like other another bronzer or another blush or anything in any of these other bags, I will make sure to do comparison swatches of all of the products side by side at the end. So I have to say, like in, Picking these bags, especially for this cream bag, I was really torn as to whether or not to get light or deep because I love a good deep pigmented blush, but I was worried then that a bronzer would be way too dark and possibly a highlight would be too dark. Plus I know that this formula, it really does build up really nicely, at least in the blush formula. So I'm, I'm glad that I got what I got because I think that this is gonna be right in line with what I need for my skin tone. So starting with the three cream products, we have the bronzer in Bon Bon, which is 5G, strawberry cheesecake, and then sugar cookie. Now I'm gonna hold off on commenting about the formula until I put it on my face, cause that's like the best, <laughs> that's the best test, right? So then we have the cream shadow in Divinity again. And uh, if you're new to my channel, these are, Truly an obsession of mine. I have almost all of the colors of the cream shadows from Sydney Grace. They are really hyper pigmented and you really only need a little bit. So, ooh, this is a really pretty shade. Um, Swatching it like this is a little hard. So it's not gonna be like the most even swatch, but here you can see, I mean, that is stunning. I, oh, I cannot wait to try this on. So it is a cool toned taupey rose but it has, and it has like a, 
like a cool toned shimmer to it, almost like leaning into silvery, but it has bits of gold mica and they are very, very fine mica. It's not chunky at all. It looks to be very smooth. You know, we're gonna have to try this one on, right? I, I can't resist. So now let's swatch the four uh, powder shadows that I got. So starting with the two mattes, we have Peanut Butter Cookie. I think this is just gonna be a really nice, beautiful, like blending shade, transition shade. And then we have Petaphor, which is a nice, warm toned, toasty, kind of like caramely brown. I mean, look, that was just a finger swatch. And I honestly probably could have like swatched all the way around my arm. That's the thing about these Sydney Grace shadows is the mattes blend beautifully. Like they're so creamy and wonderful to work with. And of course the shimmer shadows are just beautiful. If you like a really nice, like high foil shimmer shade. Speaking of, let's go ahead and swatch those. So we have two shades. We have coffee cake and butter cake. And it looks like coffee cake is going to be a bit of a, I don't, I don't even know what to call this color, honestly. So the first one going down is coffee cake. It's like a cool toned, rosy taupe that is really pretty like it's taupey but it's also a little bit rosy wow that's pretty and then this one is butter cake and this is a beautiful bronzy i'm gonna say it's so it's a bronze so it does have some warm tones you can see like it has this warm bronze shine but the the undertone of it is almost like a rosy brown that's that's really pretty, like it's very unique. It has, I'm not gonna say it's a duochrome, but it does have a bit of a shift. Like you can definitely see, it just has that little like flip. Ooh, very, very pretty. This is gonna be so fun. Wow, okay, so uh, that was a really horrible swatch of that peanut butter up there though, like. <laughs> okay, I think this is gonna be fun to play with. So we'll go ahead and pop a few of these on the fache. All right, first things first, let's get some of these creams on. Let's go ahead and go through. We're gonna start with Bonbon. I'm gonna go through with my refer number four. I doubt I'm gonna need a lot of this because I do feel like it's got some pretty good pigmentation. Uh, I think as I was saying before, I do find that the blushes really build and blend beautifully. So uh, the two shades that I have, I can wear them more sheer or I can build them up. So like the lightest one from that uh, monthly bundle, Rosebud, it's it's a lighter pink, but you can really build it up to the point where you you know can see it really nicely. And it's not like chalky Pepto-Bismol pink by the time you do that. So I do really like that. So I'm probably doing my bronzer just a little bit lower than I would with this color. Um, just so that we can have a spot above that to like blend in the blush, especially since I think that this strawberry cheesecake shade is a shade that's available as uh, on its own perhaps, or maybe not. Maybe it was sneak peeked in the swatches and it wasn't meant to be. I can't remember, but at any rate, I just don't wanna have too much blending going on, but you can see, I mean, it's definitely warmer. I would probably normally wear this like more as like a halo of glow, but you know, we're, we're just going for this, so. I do have to say, and I know it sounds like, you know, they either had some stock issues or product wasn't quite ready to go, but I think it, if you're going to include tones of bronzer in mystery boxes, it's probably your safest bet to go with something that's more neutral in the mystery bags and then have the other tonal shades available for single purchase, just because, you know, if you're a more warm tone person, you could use a neutral bronzer as more of a contour. And if you are a cool tone person, you know, hopefully you could use a neutral to kind of like warm up your skin a little bit, like give it a little bit more of that like bronzer feel. I don't know, that's just me, but it sounds like, you know, there were some issues there and uh, I'm just happy to have one to try. Although I have to say, I think for like some summer glow, this is totally going to work. This is totally gonna work. Uh, if you are curious, by the way, I do always have in the description box, well now I do, my favorite shades of foundation in case you're curious like how we are skin to skin. All right, that blended like a dream. I have to say, I feel like it has a beautiful finish. It's more of like a skin finish, you know, maybe like slightly, I mean, just like a nice cream finish. It's not, overly glowy, but it's also not drying down to matte. Again, it's just more of like a satin skin finish to me. By the way, I do also want to say these do come in glass jars and then they have a plastic top. This actually kind of reminds me, I don't have any, but it reminds me of like the Phytosurgeon's packaging a little bit. So very nice. Okay, now let's try strawberry cheesecake. 
Let's find a brush. Tell you what, goals for yesterday or over the weekend were to clean some of my brushes and it just it just didn't happen. It's on the list for today, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I'm just going through with like a Moda brush and popping this on. I think that you could totally do this with um, your fingers. If you are team fingers, I am not usually. I think if you are more fair than I am, you're probably gonna wanna use a fairly light hand with this. I actually went in, I'll show you on that other cheek. I just went in with like a little bit on the bristles here. So not a crazy ton and it's quite pigmented, but you could definitely like blend it out, you know? I did ask, by the way, I haven't actually done it. Maybe I will do that just to play with, but I did ask if these were possible to use like on the lips for like a lip cream when the original two came out in that monthly bundle and they said, yeah, I don't see why not. So uh, I might actually just try that because I could think that this could be a really pretty lip shade. Okay, that is beautiful. That is really, really pretty. It's like a little bit, ma it's like a warm, mauve tone, you know? It's not like warm as in like getting into toasty orangey. It has a little bit of pink, but it's not like Barbie pink. Let's go ahead and try it on the lips. I have a little bit of um, lip balm on. Now, the only thing is because of the emolliency of this product, I don't think it's going to have like major longevity on the lips, but like anything that's like a thin cream, that would just that would just be the case. But if you're just like popping out for a little bit and you wanna like add something, a little monochromatic vibe, you could totally do that. That's pretty. I mean, for me, this is sort of like a my lips kind of vibe, right? So I'm gonna let this sit on just so we can see how it feels. And if it starts to get like uncomfortable, I of course will tell you, hey, by the way, keep these on the face, not on the lips. All right, now we're gonna go through with the highlight. I do have to say this is the one thing that I'm kind of like, eh, because I feel like this shade for me right now is going to be a little too light. We can go ahead and test it out, but I, I just have a feeling this might be nice for me in like the fall and winter time. I could see this being a really pretty like winter highlight. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, definitely a little goes a long way. I am probably just gonna like take my finger and kind of like press this in. And then once I get it on both cheeks, I'm going to, you know, kind of take a peek at the finish on the skin. That to me is really important. Like I have really gotten away from, uh, m honestly, most powder highlight and any, any highlight that has like a lot of like sparkle reflect in it, it's just not my thing. <laughs> it's just not my thing. Oh, okay. Like, again, it's a little bit light for me right now, I feel like. If you have cool tone skin, I think this actually would be a really pretty, pretty shade. But I do have to say the one thing that I'm liking is it doesn't look like metallic. It almost just looks sheeny. Uh, and it actually isn't like wet. You know, some of the cream highlights or like the liquid highlights, they stay feeling like wet and sticky or just wet, even if they're not sticky. This does not feel like it. Okay, I am actually happier with this on my face than I was in the arm swatch because in the arm swatch, it looked like I was gonna see some little like white little micro reflex on the skin and I, I don't see that at all. I feel like that just really blended in nicely. Okay, I'm feeling pretty impressed. Those are truly lovely, formula-wise. Like I said, you know, especially in the summertime, this cool toned of a shade wouldn't be something that I'd normally do. I actually feel now that I have like blush on, I got a glowy cheek, I don't feel like the, the bronzer's too warm, but it's not my preference. Like I do like a more neutral bronzer, but it looks really nice. Again, if I had on like a beautiful kind of like terracotta blush, or, you know, like a warm toasty eye look. I think that this could totally work. It just give me JLo vibes. But we're gonna go through with this cream shadow in Divinity. Of course we are, you had to know that that was gonna happen. 
<laughs> so this is more cool tone. So it's probably gonna be like a big contrast, but I do have to say so far, I mean, I know that I love the cream blushes and while this bag is not available anymore, you can purchase the cream highlights and the cream blushes right now, hopefully the cream bronzers soon to come. So let's go ahead and pop this little eyeshadow moment on. So I'm just gonna pop a little on my hand. Now I do find a lot of the time that after the Christmas and July sale, the shades that were in the mystery bags end up getting added. Like, um, are you sure? was one that I got in the blue mystery bag last year and it is now in the, you know, it's on the website to purchase as a single. So I would think that maybe that will happen as well. I don't have any guarantees. I don't have the insight. Okay, this is really pretty. I do have to say, you can see though that the underlying base of this shadow is a bit deeper. So you will end up having a bit more of a deep eye look. However, I feel like this almost just looks like I did a lid shade and a crease shade together in one. Love that for me. <laughs> Quick and easy, one and done shadow right here. Or like a one and done, like not super deep smoky look, but a little bit smoky. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. By the way, I am, I am not using much at all. You just need like a tiny little, you know, pea size amount, not even a pea size, like I'll go ahead and zoom in. So you can see what I've already spread out on my hand. And then that little like in the middle is gonna be what we do on this eye. I might need just a smidge more, but probably not much. I do also think that you would probably have the option of laying this down and really buffing it into the skin and having, you know, more of that base coming through. And then you could just like use a finger and tap it on where you want more of that shimmer to show. And then, you know, kind of like isolate that. So. That's just, you know, my initial impression. This has so much dimension. I did color outside the lines a little bit. We'll have to clean that up. But this has so much dimension because you really have that underlying base color, which you can see right here in like my outer corner. And then you have the sheen that like kind of like taupey sheen. And then you have the gold fleck as well. So it's almost like three, three shadows in one. I love that. Okay. That is very pretty. I'm gonna wait to clean up this little section down here. So I think all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, was that called peanut butter? Peanut butter cookie. I'm gonna take that lightest shade and just run a little bit of that along the edge just to kind of blur that. I have a little spectrum in KJH number 17 here. And I'm again, just gonna like run right along this edge. So pretty and so easy. That's exactly what you get from Sydney Gray. So I'm just gonna clean this up. I'm probably gonna just put a little bit of that peanut butter cookie shade under my lash line and put on some mascara. I have to be honest, I waited on the eyebrows because I was thinking maybe they would have popped one of their new eyebrow pomades in, but I think it would have been in the cream bag. I think it would have been in the cream bag. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows a little bit. See you in a second. All right, here we have the finished look from my cream bag. I'm very happy. I really actually like this. It's a total vibe. I could see this being a go-to look, like just so quick and easy. I definitely think that that peanut butter cookie shade is going to become a new favorite for me, for sure. I think all of these will be really lovely. I can only put so much eyeshadow on my face, right? And today you're not here to see me put all the things on my face. You're just here to see what's in my bag, most likely. So if you are here to see me put more things on my face, subscribe, because I'm sure I'll be doing that in the future, especially with one of these other bags. Okay, so. First initial thoughts, and again, I know that you can't get this bag anymore, but in case you were curious about the products, I definitely love the blushes like I knew that I already do. I did wanna see. Hmm, okay, that actually kinda like dried down a little bit. I know it's close to my lip color, so it's sort of hard to see. No, it's still there. I mean, this is not by any means gonna be a super long wear lip color, but I'm actually surprised how much is still there. It's not coming off of my hand. And I did drink a little bit of my coffee here and it barely came off on my straw. So I don't know, good thing to try if you like the color of blush that comes in the mail to you and you wanna give it a go as a lip color. So the bronzer, again, I mean, looking here in the mirror, looking in the viewfinder, I feel like, again, it's warmer, but it's not overly orange. I am really curious to try this in a neutral color because I think that that would be like perfect for me. And again, the highlight, I mean, Great texture, great texture, just really beautiful. I think this is also gonna be a really nice option if you have oily skin. And most cream and liquid highlighters, if you find that they just like slide around, this probably won't do that as much. I mean, 
you know, you know your own skin, but I feel like this is definitely on the more setting side of cream highlighters that I have tried before. So all in all, really, really happy. Uh, I know that this look is gonna last for the rest of the day. I have no qualms about that. The Sydney Grace Cream Shadows are one of my favorite products because of the ease of application and because of how long that they wear. So I am hoping to see this become a standard shade. Again, this is the shade Divinity. Very, very pretty, unique, but also very wearable, like easy to throw on, anybody can kind of do it sort of shade. All right, love these shadows as well, like I said. So I most assuredly got my value out of this bag, considering that I know that the cream shadows retail for $8 at full price. And I think the pressed shadows ooh, 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 are like five or $6 for the single shades. All right, I looked at the website and the matte shadows are $5.25. The shimmer slash pressed pigments are $6.25 and then their multi-chromes I believe are 15. I do also have to say I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> because there was a limited edition shade, I believe it was in one of the monthly bundles maybe, called Apple Cider. It was from probably one of the fall bundles and I want that shade so bad, I didn't need the whole bundle and I should have picked it up on one of the days that I grabbed some of these things. Darn it, well hopefully it'll still be there when I place my next order. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this beautiful pink bag. It's giving me Barbie vibes. This is the purple deep bag. So I'm anticipating there maybe being a cream shadow, but I think it's probably gonna be a lot of pressed products like eyeshadows, maybe a blush, maybe a highlighter, we'll have to see. So again, this is another $30 bag that had an estimated $60 of value. Oh, okay, fun, fun, fun. So, oh my gosh, there's quite a bit in here actually, wow. Okay, so we have a brush. This is the SGFO1. So I'm assuming that this is a face brush. This is really nice, I could see this, I should have opened this bag before the other because this would actually be what I would like to use for cream highlight, maybe even like cream contour, very lovely. So the only Sydney Grace brush that I have, I got in last year's mystery bag. I believe it's a Big Daddy, yeah. Oh, nope, that's not it. Where is it? <laughs> okay, it's this one here. And it doesn't have the number printed on it, but this is just a nice big powder brush. They're, they're nice and soft. I like the aesthetics of it. Um, I don't think it's something that I will need to go out and purchase a bunch of Sydney Grace brushes just because I have a lot of brushes, both synthetic and natural hair that I really enjoy, but I'm glad to receive them in mystery bags because I think that they're great. So I'm gonna set this to the side and now we can get in. Ooh, okay, really excited for this. I'm gonna put all of these in a palette because the rest of these are powder products. I'll be right back. Okay, I am really, really excited. So for those of you that know me, you might have been surprised that I picked up the purple bag because purples aren't really something that I lean into a lot in my makeup wearing. And I was just like, you know what? I could use in my collection a few really deep, rich purpley tones, whatever that means. I have to say, I think that this is great. And also if you know the Sydney Grace aesthetic, most of their colorful shadows are like a little bit more neutralized. You know, it's like something that is quote unquote wearable, if you will. They do have some beautiful like Crayola shades, but a lot of it is something that's like just a little bit more, like I said, a little more neutralized, which is exactly what I think we have here. These down here are the shadows from the previous bag that we just opened, but here is what came in my purple bag. I mean, yes, these are purple, but it's not like Grimace purple. Is that is that the one from McDonald's, the big purple thing? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into these. We have a blush, we have a highlighter, and then we have a bronzer all in pressed form. Uh, obviously this highlighter I will be using maybe as like a blush topper. And then we have five shadows. We have three mattes and two shimmers. Let's get into it. So let's go ahead and swatch the face products first. We have this shade Rosy Glow, which is a blush, and I'm hoping it will get picked up because it is this beautiful, slightly sheeny blush. It is, it's interesting because it's a coppery warm brown with like a golden sheen. Ooh, yeah, but what, like, oh, this looks, okay, I have to be honest, this looks way better, <laughs> like once it's on skin than it does in the pan. It's really interesting in the pan, but like, oh, that's really pretty. I don't even know if you're really gonna be able to see that. Maybe on my finger, sorry, if uh, I have hair color stains under my fingers, it's just the nature of being a hairdresser, but it is so interesting because it's like this rosy blush with this like glowy 
golden sheen to it. That is really pretty. This next product is the bronzer and this is Buckeye. So obviously this shade is quite a bit darker, but this Oh, this actually, I mean, it's a deeper version, but this kind of reminds me of the House Labs bronzer that I have, that more like rosy shade. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, this is, um, I don't I don't know that this is gonna be a bronzer. I don't know that this could be a bronzer. Maybe on somebody with cooler toned skin. I don't know, I, I obviously, it's just, it has such a plummy undertone. So maybe, you know, obviously if you have a darker skin tone and you like something that has that more like cool tone, maybe that would work. That's really pretty, but I have a feeling it is also, do I still have shadows left over? Okay, this is a bit interesting. Can you see how that has like a sheen? Look at how this is coming up on my fingers. It's like sheeny. I don't know many people that want silvery sheen in their bronzer. Is that just a fluke? Did I maybe just, I'm gonna swatch it with another finger. No, okay. <laughs> so if you continue to rub this product to buff it into the skin, it does get that like silvery sheen to it. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a little odd. It's a little odd. It can make for a beautiful eyeshadow, but I don't think anyone's gonna wear that on their face. That's just me. You know I'm always gonna keep it real here. I love Sydney Grace, but this kind of seems like an odd choice for a bronzer because most people want to sort of like buff bronzer in, and I would not recommend that with this shade. It could be kind of like a funky blush or a beautiful eyeshadow. I don't, I don't think that that's really gonna be something that people are gonna use as a bronzer. Okay, so then we have the highlighter Pampered and Perfect. This is definitely not gonna be a highlighter for me. I was tempted to not even swatch it, uh, but it is such a beautiful shade that I thought, well, I could maybe use this as a blush topper or as an eyeshadow. I mean, I'm never gonna go through this much eyeshadow, but this, this shade is so beautiful and unique. Oh, yes. Okay. So hopefully you can see there, you've got this beautiful, like rosy color. Mm, it's just got like, it's like a rosy berry, beautiful. If you wanna see kind of like a buffed in version, that's it right here on this finger. So really sheeny. Now, I personally think that Sydney Grace essentially uses their shimmer shadow formula for their highlighters. like. I wish that it maybe wasn't quite so thick and emollient. I wish it had like a little bit less thickness to the formula. But I think if you use something that is like a stippling brush and you just wanna get a little bit onto the cheeks, you can totally do that. It's, it's gonna be what I do right now. I just can't help myself. I think it kind of goes with this makeup. So I'm just taking this Luxie Duo Fiber because it is a stippling brush. We're just gonna pop in and see how this goes. I might have major regrets, but. Oh, okay, that's really pretty. So again, I think I would wear this as like a glowy blush. <laughs> so pretty. It is very sheeny, it is very sheeny, but I don't feel like it enhanced texture on my skin, so you can see the difference in the sides there. So for me, it's definitely, it's, it's in the realm of blush. Beautiful, oh my gosh. The only thing, the only thing about pans of face products is that I just forget to use them. I just forget to use them when they're like this. I need to have like a dedicated face palette of the beautiful Sydney Grace like pans of face product that I have. I also have some beautiful highlighters from Davina and I just don't pull them out as much because I just forget about them. Because they're singles, yet they're in palettes and they're not in my eyeshadow palette so I don't see them that much. It's all a thing. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank you for indulging me in that try-on of that product. I just I just couldn't help myself. So now let's get into these shadows. The first one we have here is All or Nothing, and this looks like a cool-toned mauve purple. Really pretty. We have In It to Win It. In It to Win It seems to be a bit warmer and almost more into like a nice burgundy, but still on the cool side. 
I would say compared to this, it seems a little bit warmer, but I would say it's still cooler toned. And our next one is Feeling Fine Deep, which may, leads me to believe that maybe the light palette has Feeling Fine Light. So maybe the light bag has this in a lighter tone. I will also make sure, by the way, to you know zoom you in for swatches here. Whoa, that one's super pigmented. I mean, Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm gonna wipe these off quick and then we'll go ahead with these two shimmers. And again, I think that you could totally use that highlighter shade as a shimmer on the eye. That would be beautiful. Oh. <laughs> no regrets on this bag. And like I said, purples are not normally something that I do a lot of. So this next one is Start Somewhere. This is a pressed pigment. This is beautiful. Oh, got it pretty close to that one right above it. That's really pretty. It's got a little bit of a uh, flip to it, in my opinion, just a teeny bit. It's I think it's just because the base is a little bit cooler and the pink over the top is just really pretty. Hmm. This next one is really nice and deep. This is one day at a time. I have a feeling this is going to almost look like a satin just because I find that Sydney Grace's deep uh shimmers tend to be more of a like satin they just don't come up quite as shiny shiny but i mean this is a great deepening shade like this is a vibe this is a fall vibe right here y'all so i zoomed you in for a look at this palette this is total like fall vibes to me so you have the blush in here this is the bronzer i just did those two test swatches the beautiful like I said, I could totally see using this as a lid shade. And then you have three mattes and then you have two shimmers. This darker one, I'm hoping you can see there like where it like kind of buffed out. You can see that it has a bit of like a golden sheen to it, like a rosy golden sheen there. Very pretty, no regrets on this bag, so glad I got it. Uh, if you like these tones and you want something with a little bit lighter vibe, you could go ahead and go for the lighter bag. Also, I got this brush. But again, uh, just know that it isn't a guarantee if you pick up this bag that you're gonna get the exact same products as I did. I would say that you're probably going to get 50% of them for sure. That's, that's just my guess. All right, now let's open up the latte bag, which is in this beautiful cream bag. Again, I do have two of these, and I do think that both of these are the same size. I think they just chalked the big bag full of goodies. So, ooh, fun, okay. Oh, okay, okay, I'm excited. So in here we have another uh, brush. We have the Sydney Grace F01, which is the same brush that I had before. So then we have two cream products. Ooh, we have a cream highlight and a cream blush. That's really exciting. We have one of the lip toppers in Nicole. This is really very pretty. It's like a golden coppery kind of vibe. And then we have one, two, three, four, five pressed products. All right, let's start with the creams. You know where my heart lives. So I'm really gonna be curious to see what these look like and i cannot remember because i did purchase a cream blush on its own and i cannot remember what the shade was but this is the shade my love it's definitely quite a bit lighter and you know more of like a beigey pink let's go ahead and give this a go this is really pretty i i can't remember the name of the shade that i did pick up now i'm gonna have to look and see in my order history because I think it might've been this one, but maybe not, maybe not. But wow, this is pretty. Okay, very much up my alley, very, very much. And then we have a cream highlighter. Honestly, I have to say, I'm very surprised that they didn't put a cream bronzer in this bag. I think that the latte bag would have been the bag to do it in because like latte makeup is all about like bronzy browns, you know, and that would have been, that would have been where I would have put it. So this next shade here is Head in the Clouds. This is a little bit warmer. It's, you know, than the last one. It's not warm. I would say that this is gonna be more of like a neutral champagne-y shade. Hmm. This is just a tiny bit, a tiny, tiny bit warmer than that previous shade. Boy, though, this, this formula is really nice and thin and it really does just like blend out. I mean, that's sitting on the skin really nice. Just nice and subtle, very pretty. 
excited about those. I'm not sure, but I think that the rest of these shades are shadows. So I'm just gonna quickly put these in a palette and we will be back for the swatch fest. Okay, here we have our latte shades. Now I'm, I'm really interested because these are the latte shades and these are the shades that I got in my cream bag. I'm almost like this one gives me more latte vibes than this one. This sort of gives me like rosy brown vibes. Gorgeous shades regardless. So let's go ahead and get these swatched out. So I'll do all of the mattes next to each other. We have Sitting on the Dock and that is the lightest of the mattes. This is definitely a cooler toned rosy beige in my opinion. Yeah, definitely a little bit on the cooler side. One that's a little bit deeper than that and maybe just a smidge more warm is Horseback Riding. These are very pretty shades. It's just not like latte makeup to me. Now I will say, uh, I believe the brand said, you know, this is the quote unquote browns bag, but they said, you know, let's just give it like a more fun name. And of course, latte makeup is all the rage right now. This next one is one that I would say is definitely in that latte vibe. And this is the shade Backpacking. This is a me shade. This looks to be almost like a brown with a bit of rose undertone to it, like a warm rosy brown. All right, now for the two shimmers, we have the shade Fireworks. This looks to be a much cooler toned taupe shade just by initially looking in the pan. It's actually quite a bit cooler than the one in the previous palette. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit on the cooler side, so like a silvery taupe. And then we have the shade Kite Flying. This is really pretty. So this one, oh my gosh, I tell you what, the texture of these shadows is just so creamy, like foily, oh, so good, oh my gosh. This is definitely a shade right up my alley. So here you can see all of the colors together. Again, it's got that interesting undertone there. So we have the blush and the highlight from this set. And then we have the three matte shadows and the two pressed pigments slash shimmer shadows. So you can see there that kite flying, like when it's not in the light, it looks like a little bit different. It just has that beautiful undertone, like almost like a golden, shift that comes off of it and you see the copper more when it's not in the light. Mm, so pretty. So you will notice that I did not swatch this lip product. Uh, stay tuned to the end. All right, now the piece de resistance, <laughs> the big bag. I am really excited to see what's in here. I know that they said that there was gonna be a mix of eyeshadows, other makeup products, and like a bag exclusive non-makeup product. Looking at the sneak peeks, on the Sydney Grace Instagram, I was talking to my friend Mel and we were like, mm, maybe it's gonna be a compact, like a makeup mirror. I'm kind of hoping that's what it is. I could use a new one to be able to have to like do the detail work when I'm doing looks here for all of you. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, woo, holy shadows. Okay, <laughs> so we have quite a bit here. Let me go ahead and pull everything out. This is so fun. Let's get into this. There's a lot. I could have done this like dramatic, like lift up the bag and show you it's chalked full, but I would be worried that um, something would fall out. So we're just gonna give this a go. I'm gonna start out with this product that's in here and it doesn't have any markings on it. So it's kind of like a little mystery item here. I, I'm wondering if it's gonna be their translucent powder. Uh, I saw that on the website and I haven't tried that. Yes, a setting powder in, it just looks like a loose setting powder. So now is the portion of the video where I'm gonna tell you <laughs> that I'm probably gonna do a giveaway at the end of this video. So you'll have to stick around to the end because I will have special instructions for you to be able to get uh, some of the items that I have here. So stay to the end to get the details and also stay to the end just so you see what's in it. But this will definitely be one of them. Also the lip gloss from the previous bag that we were just looking at, Nicole. This looks like a beautiful shade. I just know like I, I have so many lip items. You know, like I can only use so much, so I might as well pass them along. So I'm obviously not gonna swatch it. So uh, let's, by the way, let's look at this lip item. I do think I'm gonna keep this one just because it looks like a really pretty shade. This is the shade Lee, and it's this beautiful kind of like rosy copper shade. Now I think that this is probably considered as a lip topper, but it might be one of the lip creams. Regardless, this is the shade Lee. And I do find that these tend to settle, like the shimmer in them just tend to settle. So you do wanna like give them a little turnaround before you open it up, but that is beautiful. It's this like warm rosy copper shade. Mm-hmm. 
gonna enjoy that one. So I did decide to keep one of these and this is gonna be the one. So now it looks like this might be a cream shadow and I don't think it's a shade that I have. That's really exciting. This is King's Canyon. Oh, this is a new shade. It's gotta be a new shade. That's really pretty. So I'm gonna just swatch that one here. We'll do it on the back of my arm. Luckily these dry down pretty well, so I won't have to worry about making a hot mess as I do the rest of these swatches. So King's Canyon. Oh wow, this is an interesting shade. Again, it has more of that little bits of mica in it. So you can see the shade right there. It's definitely on the cooler side of things, but it does have a, it's almost like an antiqued brass, but like cool toned. I don't even know how, what I'm saying there. And it has silver sparkle over the top. Here's a finger swatch. Maybe that will help you more. Again, sorry for the stained nails. It's just part of being a hairdresser. And also through all of this swatching, they've gotten they've gotten a little murky. I will definitely be getting out a scrub brush after this swatch session. All right, so let's just do more swatches, shall we? So let's move into the cream products that I got. I'm really excited because I see another bronzer in here. So I have apple cake and this is a cream bronzer. Okay, I think that this is on the maybe more rosy undertone side. I will swatch all the creams that I got next to each other, like the cream blushes, the cream highlights, and the cream uh, bronzers next to each other just so that we can see them all together. I feel like that's a little bit more rosy. It's sort of hard to tell, but apple cake, I think that's gonna be a fun one to try. And then we have the blush Redwood National Park. Ooh, yeah, this one, this one's a tasty one. I remember seeing this in the swatches. It's this beautiful, oh, so good. Yes, okay. I, don't, I didn't even say, I just said it's this beautiful, uh, like that means something to anybody. <laughs> so it's this really lovely pink, but not, you know, like overly gumball pink. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. I love a good, like bright blush moment. And that's going to be like a, a nice pop of color. Almost has like a little bit of an orchid tone to it. Very pretty. And then we have one more cream highlight. I am going to have so much cream highlight at the end of this. I'm just going to have to start putting more highlight on my face. And this one is going to be one that I'm really going to enjoy. I have a feeling this is paradise on ice and you, I don't think you're seeing it right there, but it is, it looks to be a little bit duochromatic. Uh, it's like a pinky toned slightly duochromatic, but it's not, it's soft. Yeah, it definitely, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that. Can you see that on my finger? Definitely in the pink zone, that's gonna be really pretty. I am going to love wearing this one. So it's almost in that like lilac pink. It's gonna look great with that blush color. They did a good job picking these ones out. Mm. Yeah. Okay, really excited about all these cream products. Totally excited and I think if I'm right, I think that these retailed for $12. So already, like, that's a lot of value to me in this bag. I mean, if they were $12, that's $36 right there just out of these three cream products. And I will definitely enjoy wearing this. I don't know that it's a shade that I would wear all the time, but it's gonna be a really fun way to do a smoky eye really quickly. Okay, then we have three powder face products. I'll be honest, I think I'm gonna put all of these in the giveaway. This first one is... Uh, a highlighter, and I think it was called Velvet Gold. So this, uh, I just I just don't use powder highlighter enough. I think it looks like a really pretty, you know, kind of like golden champagne color, but I just know that I won't reach for it. Same with these others. This is Santa Monica Pure Blush. This is a beautiful, cool toned mauve. It's just on the lighter side, in my opinion, and I just know that I probably won't reach for it. And then we have a really pretty bronzer. This shade right here is Banana Bread, and I think that this is lovely. I just know I have so many bronzers in my collection, and like I said, I tend to not reach for single ones that are in palettes and I've already opened a couple up from that other bag. So I would just rather gift these to someone and have them go to a good home that's going to use them. So those will go into the giveaway as well. All right, let's get into the shadows and then we have two other products in this bag. So I am just kind of like opening these, these enough to see what these shades are. I have three shadows that I'm going to put into this giveaway. We have June Lake. This is this beautiful, like 
lighter silver, kind of like a pewtery silver. I know that I have a few silvers in my singles collection and it's just not gonna be something that I reach for a lot, so I might as well uh, pop it into the giveaway. This next shade is a beautiful matte, kind of like taupey gray. This is the shade Joshua Tree. Very pretty, just uh, I think I have some Davina shades that are really similar in those tones. And then another matte gray, this is Yosemite. So again, I made sure not to touch the shadows, but this way you can kind of see. So those will be going in as well. So you basically could get a whole eye look out of those right there. All right, now let's go ahead and swatch the rest of these shades. I'm really excited. Okay, seriously, fall vibes for sure. Check out this. So we have four mattes and three shimmers to swatch. I'm really excited. Again, I think that this is beautiful fall vibes. So I have the other products that I'm keeping from the bag. This first shade is Big Bear. This looks to be a beautiful, rich, just yummy, <laughs> like deep earth dirt brown. Does that even make sense? It does look like it maybe has just that hint of gray tone to it like when I swatch it out, but like like when I get it on my skin and that honestly could just be from the warmth of my skin tone. Uh, again, I'll show you up close swatches in just a moment. And then we have Central Coast. This is a beautiful like plummy eggplanty shade. It feels a little bit more dry than the one before it. That um, Big Bear shade feels really creamy. In fact, the one problem with doing finger swatches is like sometimes with those creamy shades, you get a little bit of hard pan. I'm hoping, hoping I didn't just have that happen to that one. Oh, I didn't even show you that one. That is beautiful. Like I said, that kind of like eggplant sort of shade. And then we have Voila. This is a really pretty, this is a total Kelly color. Another nice like warm, sort of has a little bit of orange, sort of has a little bit of pink to it, just from what I can see before I swatch it. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, that's really lovely. And then I love a good orange. Give me a bright orange, give me a grungy orange, just give me orange. <laughs> this is highway one. Oh, it's gonna get a pinky swatch. Again, I feel like we sort of went like super creamy, a little bit more dry. Not super dry, just like for Sydney Grace. And then super creamy, and then this shade feels a little bit more dry again. I don't know if it's just the pigments that are used, but not dry by any means, just like it's interesting how the texture changes. So those are beautiful, so, so beautiful. All right, one more <laughs> swipe here to get all of my fingers clean, and then we're gonna go into these shimmers. This has been a lot of fun, I hope you agree. All right, the one gray out of this set that I do think I wanna keep in my collection, this is Lake Tahoe. This just seems like really pretty, and if I am gonna wear a gray, it's gonna be a nice deep shade. And this seems to have a really interesting undertone. Like it's charcoal-y, but man, it almost has like a hint of a gray olive. I mean, the, the sheen on it is kind of like blue-esque, but there's just something about it that gives me a little bit of green. And then we have Napa Valley, again, an orange, which I know that I'm probably going to love. I'm sure that by the way, my focus has been like ping-ponging all over just since I'm like doing this relatively quickly. But what matters the most, right, is the swatches, not necessarily what it looks like in the pan. Ooh, yeah, baby. Oh, that is like so pretty. Oh, it's got such a nice like sheen to it. I will definitely have to make sure to get you up nice and close so that you can see that one. And this last one is Pacific Coast Highway. So this one has just a little bit of like a, Mm, it's like, oh, okay. This is sort of like if yellow and gold and champagne had a baby, it's like, whoa, it's really, really bright. That is amazing. Oh, look at that. Can you see the sheen on that one? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be super fun to wear. Wow, okay. Definitely, this is so unique to my collection. Like, you, you're probably all like, Kelly, it's just like a light kind of like gold yellow, but it's just so unique to what I have. And actually, I don't think I really have, for as much as I love oranges, I don't have a lot of orange single shadows. Oh, so pretty. Okay, very, very fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's get into these last couple products. All right, I am such a liar. So I said that I had two products to go through. We still have three products. This is one that's gonna go into the giveaway. This is a loose highlighter in the shade Radiant Glow. I mean, that looks so pretty, but again, I just I just don't need any more highlighters. 
I just really don't, especially since I have all these creams now. So these are so beautiful. I have one from Sydney Grace that I kept, I believe it's called Pumpkin Spice and it is gorgeous. It is so, so gorgeous. I just know that, I mean, I've got a lot of makeup and I would rather this go to someone who's going to enjoy it and be able to really utilize it. So the other product that's gonna go into the giveaway is actually the large powder brush that I showed before because there's one in here. This is the Sydney Grace F05 brush. It is a lovely brush. I am just not team big brush as much. And so this is it right here. This is mine will be brush twins. It's gonna be super exciting. So this is great for like, I mean, if you really love a lot of like bronzer, you could like go ham with the bronzer, but I usually use this for like a light dusting of loose powder and it's great. So guess what? You're gonna have a loose powder and a brush to be able to apply said loose powder. So that will be wonderful. So now the final product, the product that's in here that I've been wondering what it is. It doesn't, I don't think it's a mirror. It almost sounds like jewelry or something. What is it? It is jewelry. Oh, okay. So surprised. Let me see if I can get this out. So, wow, these are so pretty. I'm hoping that they give us more information on these. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's getting washed out. Maybe if I get really nice and close here, will my lens, there we go. Okay. So hopefully you can see there the detail on these. They're almost like laced earrings. Oh, wow. I hope that the brand tells us a little bit more about these. That is super fun. Cute, okay, wow. Not expected. I bet nobody expected that at all. I, like I said, I hope that they give us more details on that. I don't know if somebody in the whole like Sydney Grace fam is making them or if they have like an artisan jeweler that they just really liked working with. I'll be curious to know about that. All right, so wow, we have a lot to go through shall we? Okay, so I just opened up my little box to show you the few random things that I picked up along with these. And it was a few single shadows. I, I didn't think I was gonna be shopping on single shadow day. And I was like, there are just a couple that I wanna get. I completely forgot about apple cider. <clears throat> But in the box, the brand actually threw in a couple shadows, which is really great. They aren't on my order, I'm sure of it. So one is the shade Voila, which is one of the ones that I just swatched. It's this one right here. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna throw this into my pile of goodies to give out for my 4K giveaway. I haven't really talked about it on my channel yet here, but during the Christmas in July sale craziness, I actually hit 4K here on my channel. So I will be doing a giveaway with details coming soon. So this one is gonna go into there. We also have this shade, I Love You, which I'm assuming must be one from this sale. You know what I'm wondering is if maybe this is in the, um, in the light purple bag perhaps. So I'm just gonna give it a swatch. I did just double check to make sure it wasn't in this palette or in any of the ones that I got. It's a beautiful purple. So that is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one because this is more along the lines of like purple purple, which is kind of what I was expecting out of uh, my purple bag. I'm very happy actually that I got what I got, but this will be a fun little addition to that. So I just wanted to share that with you. So I'm gonna share the three shades that I got and y'all, you're probably just gonna die because they're all a little bit close, but I was looking for something just like light, something that I could use in an inner corner or an easy lid shade. And you know what happens when you get to watching swatching videos. I've done it myself and I'm sure maybe watching my swatching videos, you've done it where you're just like, Actually, I think I need both of those. I can't really decide. So that's exactly what happened. Uh, by the way, I do have all of my Sydney Grace singles swatch videos here. If you're watching on single shadow day, it's definitely a day to take advantage of. So I will make sure to have those linked down below as well. So this first one is strawberries and cream. And this shade just looked so pretty. It looked like a coppery pink. Wow, we're really getting down here to the end. We are now running close to the elbow. But I mean, look at that. It's like a beautiful like rose goldy shade. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I'm gonna love that one. I should make sure to be putting these in this magnetic palette or strawberries and cream is about to like be strawberries and scream because if I shatter it, my heart will be broken. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, it's chaos here. I have all of these like envelopes unfolded. It's crazy. Okay, the next one is Blondie. And I think that this is a fan favorite. It's a little bit cooler than strawberries and cream. Yeah, it's definitely on the cooler pinky tone side. And I'm gonna pop it right here. Again, these are shades that have been around for a while, but I just had to share them. Ooh, that's gonna be really pretty, especially with that, uh, 
that purple bag that I just got. That's gonna be a fun one to use with that. I don't really have anything like light and definitely more pinky, so I thought that it would be a good addition. Uh, that's not the one. The other one that I got is one that is definitely a fan favorite and it is turtle doves. So turtle doves, I would say, is leaning a little bit more neutral than both of these. It's gonna be sort of somewhere in between, more into that like champagne-y with just a little bit of rosiness to it. Now, could I have probably mixed the two of those together to get that bottom one? Perhaps. <laughs> so we have strawberries and cream, blondie, and turtle doves. I couldn't help myself. All right, I had to take a moment just to clear my space a little bit, but I wanna give you the details on the giveaway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pop all of these things into a mystery bag from last year. So I bought lots of the mystery bags last year and I have lots of extra bags that are sitting here and I've just been waiting to do a Sydney Grace giveaway and now seems like the perfect time. So we're gonna use this beautiful mint bag. So we have the Sydney Grace F05, that's that beautiful big powder brush. And along with the powder brush, we have the loose setting powder. What a great duo. And then we have one of the lip products in Nicole. I'm not sure if this is a lip topper or a lip cream, but it looks like a beautiful shimmery shade. Then we have the loose highlighter in Radiant Glow. That loose highlighter looks like a beautiful shade. So then we have three pressed face products. We have the bronzer. Let me see if I can flip these right. We have the blush and then we have a pressed highlighter. So some great things in there as well. And then we have the three eyeshadows. So these are a beautiful little like gray color story. I think this will be a nice little option. So we'll pop that in as well. I think that's it y'all. So if you wanna know how you can get this bag of goodies, and by the way, this giveaway will be open to US and Canada only. And all you'll have to do is there is going to be a Google doc down in the description box that you will need to go in and fill out and you'll need to know the secret word. And this secret word for this giveaway is going to be gratitude. If you saw my recent build your own palette, uh, the theme was gratitude. And that's sort of something that I've been working on. And honestly, I am grateful for all of you that have been here. I'm grateful for all of you that are recently here. Maybe you found me through looking up some Sydney Grace items. I hope that you'll stick around. I hope that you find my content after the Christmas in July sale just as valuable and fun. And again, thank you to all of you. I know that there are a lot of you who've been here from the beginning, from the dark basement days, and I appreciate all of you and I'm so, so grateful. So gratitude will be the word. Uh, you'll have to make sure that you insert your Instagram handle or your email just so that I have a way to contact you. And then that way you're not having to share any personal information down in the comments. I will also ask that you leave a comment on this video just because again, that does help me with this video. So I will be checking to make sure that you've left a comment. It could be anything. It could be hi, it could be an emoji. It could be maybe whichever of these bags that you really enjoyed. It could be maybe what you purchased in the Sydney Grace sale, whatever you'd like to leave down in the comments down below. And then just make sure you fill out that form. And this giveaway will go for a week from today. So today is Monday the 31st. Yes, it is. <laughs> just had to check. And again, good luck to everybody on this. Okay, now. Wow, we got a lot, well, I got a lot of good things, a lot of beautiful shadows, other makeup items, these cream blushes. By the way, I think that's what I'm gonna do right now is I will go ahead and swatch out all of the creams so that maybe that'll be helpful for you if you were looking at some of them. Uh, maybe you're a skin tone close to mine, especially those bronzers because I know everybody was really excited for those and we just haven't seen a lot on those yet. So one last time, I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can see that, but that will be at the end of this video. So again, this is one of my favorite things to do. I love a good mystery. <laughs> I love a good mystery. Sometimes I've gotten burned on mysteries, but almost never with the Cindy Grace bags. Like I just think that they have such a great value. Even if there's one or two items inside that don't speak to you and you end up passing it along to another makeup lover, I still think it is such a great deal. And it's really a great way if you haven't bought a lot from this brand to be introduced to several of the things. So I do hope that you found this video helpful. You will get to see more Sydney Grace content on my channel forever and ever. It's a brand that I love. <laughs> So even after the Christmas in July sale, you'll still see some from time to time and I hope that you've enjoyed this. Uh, I will for sure be having a sale haul. I will have a sale haul video coming soon. I think that all of my packages are on the way to me at this point. So thank you lovely so much. It really does mean so much to me that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me. And that's gonna be it for now. And I will see you really soon. Here are the cream swatches for you. Okay, so here are some cream comparisons. We have apple cake and bonbon, so you can definitely see apple cake is lighter and also cooler. Like I would definitely say that this is gonna be more 
neutral to cool and cool almost as in like a rosy tone, not like ashy tone, just to kind of clarify that. I did buff both of these into the skin fairly well with my fingers I was going across just because that's how most people wear bronzer. You're not gonna wear this to like full opacity, I would think. Then here we have the three blushes that I got. My Love on the top, Strawberry Cheesecake in the middle, and then Redwood National Park on the bottom. Now here with the three highlighters. So I will say that the formula consistency between the bronzers was the same. The formula consistency between the blushes was the same. These were a bit different. Uh, sugar cookie, and maybe it's just because it has so much to it. This one was thicker. And this is one that I'm wearing right now underneath all the other stuff <laughs> that we ended up putting on. But uh, this one is a bit thicker and I feel like it has more of that like opalescent sheen to it. This one here is Head in the Clouds and then we have Paradise on Ice. Both of these are thinner and I almost like had to build these up more. You know, I just wanted to get these to be slightly less translucent. I kind of want to see like dry down factor on these. I mean, they haven't been sitting that long. No, okay. They do, they do uh, still have some workability. Those have probably been on for a good minute or so, but there you can see, I mean, cause that's gonna be more like what you're wearing a highlighter, right? So this one's definitely icier. You have this one, which is a little bit more neutral champagne. And then this one definitely has that pink subtle flip to it. Beautiful. I'm really gonna enjoy wearing them all. <laughs> and I hope that you enjoyed getting to see them all swatched out. Also, can we just have a makeup appreciation moment right here? Really loving this.